Hey everybody, this is Andrew here at Tower, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to wash your electric bicycle. It's a big question a lot of people obviously ask. You know, you got electrical components here. Is it safe to wash your electric bike? The answer is yes. It is important to and safe to wash your electric bicycle. How you wash your bicycle is going to depend on which electric bicycle you have. So all electric bicycles will have a uh, internal water pressure rating, usually called an IP rating, with numbers ranging from zero all the way up to around 100. 100 being very, very water resistant, with zero being not water resistant at all. All e-bikes will have an IP rating. So before you wash your e-bike, it's important that you know what that IP rating is. One big giant rule I always like to tell people when it comes to cleaning your electric bike Number one rule you should always recommend, and that is never use a pressure washer on your electric bicycle. You may be used to using a pressure washer on your regular bicycle. Do not use one on an electric bike. Even on a bike that is IP90, still never use a pressure washer on it. That pressure washer is going to force water into nooks and crevices that it should not be in, even if the bike has a fantastic IP rating. So never ever use a pressure wash. Depending on your IP rating, you may be able to use a garden hose, you may not. I always recommend just keep a bucket and water and soap. Not, don't use the garden hose, just to be on the safe side if you don't ever know. Across your frame, you can just use a nice bucket of basic soapy water. There are lots of different bike specific frame cleaners, but you know, some basic simple green or even some dish soap will clean your frame fantastically. It's helpful to just have a bucket and like a, a handy microfiber cloth like we have here. Kind of get that bucket of water and scrub all around the bike, all around the frame. Now, when it comes to this part, your battery and controller, that's the part you want to be extra, extra careful on. Like I have one of our Tower Beach bums here. And so like if I were to do this, I would be very careful and rub this outside. I would avoid hitting the seam on the inside because I don't want any water tracking into that controller. You can even potentially take your battery off, but if you are taking your battery off, be sure to take some sort of plastic bag or garbage bag or something and cover that controller and duct tape it, seal it up. We don't want any water getting any, any connections or any of the innards, smarts of the bike. And then from there, you know, it's just kind of scrubbing it down, washing it down all over the place. I always recommend hand drying your bike immediately after, letting your bike sit with some water on it. It can make the frame not look so great. Water can settle into certain spots. So I usually recommend just wiping it all down. Then once your frame and everything's all, all cleaned up, it's really important to get this drivetrain clean. People forget to clean their drivetrains all the time. They'll just keep adding lube, keep adding lube, keep adding lube, and their bike runs poorly, it looks terrible. And the second you touch any of these rings, your hands are completely black. It's always important whenever you wash your bike to also wash your drivetrain. So what you're gonna to wanna to do with your drivetrain is you're gonna to wanna to hit it with a strong degreaser. I personally love the Finish Line Speed Degreaser Can. It's pressurized aerosol, and it helps blast a lot of that grease off. Hit it on your chain, hit it on your cassette, your chain ring, blast that on. Then use a nice, once it's nice and saturated, you can take a nice cloth, microfiber cloth, run that chain through your hand, get all the gunk off. Depending how dirty your bike is, it may take you know two or three blasts and cycles of this to get it all off. But once that drivetrain is all squeaky clean, then you take a small bottle of lube, you know, whatever lube of your choosing. I personally prefer a dry lube on the e-bikes because you just kind of dribble it on there leave it and it's good to go. It's not all wet and goopy, but any other lube would work fantastically. As for the instructions on the lube, refer to the instructions on the back of the bottle as different lubes have different application processes. Once that bike is all lubed up, your e-bike is clean and ready to roll. However, I do recommend letting your e-bike sit for a little while, just in case any small traces of water do get into the insides. It gives it a little time for that water to dry out before you put the battery back on and power everything up. And that's all you need to know on how to wash your electric bicycle. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining us.